Hey guys, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we got the HTC uh, HTC One M8 here, and uh, I'm going to go over uh, the uh, TV app, uh, Sense TV. It's a lot like last year, actually. There's not a lot of difference to it, but there is some cool things for the sports fans. But I'll walk you through how to set it up and all that good stuff. So you find the TV icon here in your app drawer, and you go ahead and press that. Press it, uh, hopefully get it right on the first time. <laughs> and um, so basically it's it's walking you through here that uh, it's going to go in and, um, you know, personalize it and all that good stuff. And then you'll have a chance to do the remote. So go ahead and hit next year. And right away it's asking for a location. So I'm in the United States. And we'll go to next year. And I'm going to go ahead and put a zip code in. And after you do that, you just select where what uh, provider that you have. So I'm going to go with DirecTV. And then over here you can uh, check off what channels that you want to show in the guide. So you can actually go, it's just, you know, it's showing all the channels that are in your guide. So you can um, go ahead and uncheck certain things or check. You can go with the defaults and you can change this later. Not a big deal. A lot of the pay-per-views there are, aren't there, um, and then all the regular channels uh, are checked. So you can go in and fool around with that, but for now we're just going to go ahead and keep what they have. And over here um, you can select your streaming services, and this is actually quite limited, surprisingly. Just Hulu Plus, Crackle, CBS, and so no Netflix or anything like that. Um, so that's a little surprising, but right now, um, and it, that'll help you for, you know, if you're searching for a movie or something or a TV show that is available, Hulu Plus, so it'll mention that as well. But we're going to go ahead and next for now. And this is where um, you can start choosing your favorites. Uh, you see the heart there. So Big Bang Theory, I like that one. Um, so you can go in and select um, some shows that you might like. Two and a half man, that's not bad. Um, and of course, you can search for shows as well. Um, and then, of course, it's going to give you recommendations based on this as well, obviously. So you can go in and you can go and do this stuff afterwards. As again, The Walking Dead. It, you know, you just go through and go through them all, search, do whatever you want. So we'll go ahead and hit finish for now. And it's saving the setup. And there's the privacy information, we'll say OK. And now it's going to start loading um, recommendations uh, based on, again, DirecTV that I sh had and all that. And, um, of course, it's telling you um, tap the footer section um, to tune to the channel. So if you see something that you like, you can actually just hit that bottom part there to change the channel. Now, the remote isn't set up yet, though. Uh, surprisingly, this isn't the most the best thing in the world here because it's not um, it should automatically set you up for the remote but it doesn't here's the remote button so if I go to that it's gonna do it anyway so here we go so now we're gonna set up the remote and we're gonna hit start and we're gonna say we wanna do all of them just to show you so you can do your home theater box a cable box or satellite box and a TV um, a lot of times I would do these videos in front of the TV, but I'm not going to bother because I know it works. So you go through and you put in, uh, you can search for a brand or go ahead and select your brand. I know it's mine's, mine's a Panasonic. And this is where um, you'll go through the different remote codes now. And this is pretty straightforward. Make sure your TV is turned off, so make sure that's off. And then once that's off, you just go to next. And then what you'll do is you you just press the button here, turn on TV. It's going to try each code. And so there, it's actually trying to turn it on. So the question is, yes, did it turn on or not? Now for me, I know it didn't. It doesn't because it's the second code that works. So I'm going to say no. And then it's turned, now it's trying to remote code too. Did that work? And I'm going to say yes because I know it does work. Yes. And then they want you to make sure that the menu key works. Uh, and if you hit the menu, did the menu button work? And I know it does in my case. So I'm going to hit yes. If you say no, then it's going to walk through different things there. Now, again, the, the cable box is 
it will be the brand of that. For me, DirecTV matches DirecTV, but I guess a lot of times you use like a Motorola box with Comcast or whatever. So for me, it's a DirecTV box. It doesn't go through any setup here for the DirecTV box. It just, I guess, knows what it's going to be. Now we go to the receiver, and I go with Onkyo. And it's going to be the same setup here. You want to make sure it's turned off. And then hit next. And then it's again the same thing. Turn it on. And I know again for me it's actually the second one again for the for the receiver. So I'll go ahead and hit no. Uh, and then it's trying the second code. And then there it is. And I'm going to say it does work. And I'll hit yes. And then um, setup is complete. So now you have your remote control here. Um, and you have different sections of the remote. You have your power for each of the uh, different things, the cable box, the receiver, and the TV. These arrow keys are for the TV. And then you, this is for the uh, cable or satellite receiver. You have your directionals. Um, if you hit your um, my DVR, it's going to show all your uh, listings of your DVR recordings. Um, and you got your mute, and uh, then you have a little your menu button here and in your play and pause and record and then these are your channels which are going to be controlled by the cable box um, now you can also set up different rooms um, whoops let's go back to the remote uh, if I go here I can you you can go you can have different rooms and you can do that through the settings and over here let's go to the settings and the button setup this is an interesting thing here that if some buttons aren't working properly you can actually go in and I'll just go ahead and hit the uh, I'll go hit the play button and you can actually use your other remote and point it so it becomes a learning remote I'm not sure if that was in last year's version I don't think it was uh, but I can't remember for sure um, if it was on the original HTC one but right now I'm just gonna hit back I'm not gonna bother with that um, hit back again to get out of the setup and then um, you have your settings here and this is where you can do your rooms so you can go ahead and add different rooms so you can have different configurations for your bedroom and uh, living room and all that so that's pretty cool um, hidden shows uh, that's something when you go through um, all the different shows that are on you can actually uh, select it to hide right now it's blank nothing's in there uh, it's no different than favoriting show so you can actually when I'll show you that you can just click hide and for whatever reason it'll be hidden um, and then you got your streaming services. Auto wake um, doesn't really seem to work. I'm not really sure. Um, I would assume that that's when you pick up the phone. Um, it says picking up the phone um, wakes it from sleep, but it doesn't seem to do that. Um, and then of course your location, and you can connect to Facebook and Twitter. Um, so now let's go back out here. Um, and this is again your recommended and then here if you hit the hamburger menu um, You can go like movies TV shows sports is quite interesting um, It gives you scores of uh, games that are going on right now and the channel that you can go ahead and uh, Press to go to that game. So those are the actual current scores of the games right now and um, That's something that's completely new uh, for this year. So that's pretty cool Um and then, of course, you've got your favorites um, here as well, or my picks. Um, down here is the shows that I picked here. And um, these are the favorites here, actually, that I picked. And then um, there's some reminders as well that you can do because you, you can select to remind you to um, watch certain shows. You can go here to the full channel guide and... Um, see what's on each channel and then tap on the channels to change the channel to that uh, channel and you can go to different time slots here um, and of course you have your settings over here as well um, now going into the um, the main screen where it uh, shows you the different TV shows um, if you tap on the bottom here it'll change the channel you can see it's already changed it's wanting to change the channel there um, you can also tap in to the uh, icon there and see the show um, and it's also saying you can use the phone's volume here to change the volume also quickly for um, um, for your re either receiver or the TV whatever you're controlling um, so you can go ahead and hit watch now uh, you can favorite it and um, you can add a series reminder that I was telling you before, and then the hide feature. 
uh, and share it to one of your social networks. So that's where you can go ahead and click hide. So actually, I'll go ahead and hit hide on that um, and then back out. And if I go over here to settings and go into hidden shows, there's Everybody Loves Raymond. So then I can just tap on it and take it off the hidden list as well. So um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It, I mean, it works pretty good. I will say the infrared is a little weaker than a normal infrared um, from normal remotes. I don't think most people probably aren't going to notice an issue with it. Um, I do because I have equipment that's in, in other rooms and I use uh, an inf infrared receiver actually to control the equipment so um, I find that the infrared's not as powerful so a lot of times it's not getting uh, to the equipment that's in the other room whereas with other remote controls it does if I hold it closer it works very well but for again most people aren't going to have a setup like that and assuming your equipment is in the same room you shouldn't have a problem um, because I, I don't notice too much there. Like it controls my TV and my uh, stereo receiver beautifully. It's my satellite receiver uh, that I keep outside another room and feed them throughout the entire house. So, um, so that, you know, I would say for most people that probably won't be an issue. But overall, it's a pretty cool interface to find the shows that you want to find. Um, and... Uh, you know, in tune to them and stuff. And, you know, it's just like another second screen to work with with your TV. It's pretty cool. Um, so that's Sense TV, and I hope uh, this helps uh, get you set it, get get it set up properly for yourself. Um, and um, it's definitely convenient having uh, the bedroom and, and your living room and all that. So uh, when you're at bed at night and your and your phone's on your nightstand charging and you want to quickly change a channel or something and your remote's not nearby, you can uh, quickly use your phone. So it's pretty cool to have the feature. Definitely will say on that. So. Um, until then, check, make sure you take a look at all our guides. We have uh, some guides on the camera and the duo, uh, duo um, effects and uh, video highlights and, uh, and so a whole good Sense 6 walkthrough and all that. So definitely check those things out. And until the next video, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.